My name is Gwen Queen and I'm the 4-H program assistant here at the Walton County Extension Office. We know that everybody is getting ready and geared up for the back to school activities that are going on right now and we also have that same excitement here at the Walton County 4-H office. We, many parents may remember 4-H from their time in school. Some of you may not even be familiar with 4-H at all. And what surprises some people is that 4-H actually started in Newton County, which is right next door to us, in 1904. Mr. G.C. Adams of Newton County, he was the school superintendent there, and he wanted to form a club to teach the young boys there how to grow corn. So he grew a corn, he developed a corn growing club for the boys there. In 1908, in Hancock County, the girls formed their own club to learn how to can tomatoes. Now this was important at that time because that was how you got your food. You grew the, the, the food and then you had to can it and preserve it yourself. So they formed these clubs to teach the young students their life skills. In 1914, the Smith-Lever Act combined these two clubs to form what is known today as Georgia 4-H. Now, since we're a part of the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension, we um, are proud to be a part of your, your fifth grade students' education in Georgia. Since we follow the Georgia Performance Standards, we, uh, all fifth grade students are part of Georgia 4-H. And they're automatically enrolled. Now, in our first meeting of the year, we visit each um, fifth grade classroom in September, they'll learn about 4-H, they'll learn about the history of 4-H, they'll learn some geography in Georgia and some map reading skills. They'll also complete their enrollment cards to be part of the University of Georgia. They will actually be the, some of the youngest students of the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension. And they need to know their, um, their home addresses so we can have good mailing addresses for them so we can contact you or them if we need to. Now, like I said before, we visit each fifth grade class each month, and in September we do learn the introduction part of 4-H. In October, we actually come and discuss something that's important on everybody's minds right now, and that's the election process. The students learn about the national election process, and then they also get to actually run for office in their class club. We have offices of president, vice president, parliamentarian, and secretary and they get to campaign and run for these offices and then the students vote for who they want to um, represent them. Those students who are elected will then be invited to a officer training uh, class that they'll come to. In November, we start gearing up for our annual project achievement contest and that's where the students get to make a poster and present a demonstration a three to five minute de demonstration on a topic of their choice. They get to learn valuable public sk speaking skills and they also get to learn some creative skills on their poster work. They get to choose any uh, topic that they want and that's something that's fun always fun for the kids because we've gotten things from the history of Spongebob to um, goats to um, performing arts to different a variety of different things. There's no limit on the, the amount of topics that we can get from the students. When they complete their posters, they present them in um, December, and then in January, if they want, win first, second, or third place in their class project area, they go on to the county project achievement contest and compete against all the other first, second, third place winners in the county. If they win there, they go on to district competition at Rock Eagle, and the kids always have a great time at Rock Eagle. Now after the new year, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but after the new year we do have plenty of exciting opportunities for them to learn about and get new life, um, life building skills. 4-H doesn't stop in fifth grade though, however. If you have a middle schooler or a high schooler, please encourage them to listen for the announcements for after school 4-H meetings. There are so many opportunities in 4-H to learn valuable skills that they'll need later in life. We do community service projects. We also do resume building skills. And we do learning activities and we have fun the whole time we're doing them. 4-H just gets funner and funner the more, the older you get. Now, like I said, project achievement that the fifth graders start with continues on through high school. 
These students continue with their speech and their public speaking skills. They also continue with their poster creativity. But they also have another element that's added in when they get to seventh grade. From seventh grade to twelfth grade, they start com compiling a portfolio where they maintain all of the things that they do, their accomplishments, their achievements, everything that they do, they maintain it in this portfolio. And that will definitely come in handy when they get to high school and they have all this information already ready for those college and scholarship applications as well as job applications. So please encourage your students to maintain um, their membership in 4-H if they are in middle school and high school. If you have any further if you need any further information about any 4-H activity that we offer, please don't hesitate to call, contact us at 770-267-1324 or you can visit our website at www.ugaextension.com slash Walton.